Welcome back with a new math tutorial. In this video, we are talking about multiplying integers. As we said before about the integers, are the positive, negative, and zero. Zero is neither positive nor negative. Anything related to the increase will be positive value. Anything related to decrease will be negative value. If you need to add or subtract two integer numbers, number one, write the sign of the decrease number. Number two, check if the two numbers have the same sign or different sign. If the two numbers have the same sign, so we'll add them. If the two numbers with different signs, so I will subtract them. But if we have more than two numbers and we need to add them, number one, check we have opposite numbers or not. The opposite numbers are two numbers lies on two different sides of zero. One of them is positive and the other would be negative, like two and negative two. By adding the two opposite numbers, you will find that the answer will be equal to. If there is no opposite numbers, just add the positive numbers together and the negative number together, then simplify the equation. So in multiplying integers, number one, we will need to write the sign of the answer. We can find the sign of the answer, that's if you multiply two numbers. If the two numbers have the same sign, so the answer will be positive. If the two numbers with different signs, so the answer will be negative. So for question number one, we have here three multiplied by negative five. If you need to find the product of three and negative five, three is positive, five here is negative, there is no sign between the 3 and the bracket, it means 3 multiplied by negative 5. The two numbers now with different signs, so the answer would be negative. Then 3 multiplied by 5 equals 50. Again, we have negative 7 times 4. Now we have a number beside a bracket. A number beside the bracket and there is no sign between them, it means now we have a multiplication. The first number here is negative, and the second is positive. Once we have here two different signs, it means the answer would be negative. Then multiply 7 times 4 equals 28. In question number 3, we have 3 numbers. If you have more than 3 numbers, at the first, just multiply 2 numbers. Now we have negative times negative equal positive. Then multiply positive times negative, the answer will be equals negative. Again for this one. Just count now the negative sign. We have here, negative and negative are positive. Multiplied by negative. Positive times negative will be equals negative. After that, multiply the numbers. 3 times 4 equals 12. 12 times 2 equals 224. So the answer will be equals negative 24. Again for question number 10. Negative 7 times negative 5 times negative 3. Negative times negative is positive. Times negative will be negative. So for any negative sign is repeated odd number, the answer will be negative. If we have negative sign is repeated even number, the answer will be positive. So if we repeat the negative sign odd times, it will be negative answer. But if you repeat it even time, it will be positive answer. So negative times negative equal positive. Times negative will be negative. Now multiply that. 7 times 5 equals 35. Times 3 equals 105. So the answer will be equals negative 105. In question number 30, negative and negative equal positive. Times negative will be equals negative. So the answer now will be equals negative. So because we repeat the negative 3 times, the answer now will be negative. Now 1 times 3 equals 2, times 4 equals 12. So the answer would be equals negative 12. So when you multiply, number 1, write the sign. After writing the sign, multiply the two numbers. Negative 6 times 8. The first number is negative, the second is positive, so the two numbers with different signs, so the answer would be negative. Because negative times positive equal negative. The two numbers with different signs, so the answer would be negative. The two numbers have the same sign, so the answer would be positive. So 6 times 8 equals 48. In question number 5, we have negative 11 times negative 9. 11 is negative, 9 is negative, the two numbers are the same sign, so the answer now will be positive. 11 times 9 equals to 99. Again for question number 2. Negative 12 times negative 4. The two numbers have the same sign, so we just write here, the answer will be positive. 12 times 4 equals 40. In question number 6, we have negative 4 to the power 2. What is the meaning of the power? In the power, we repeat the same number in multiplication according to the power. If that's power 2, it means we have negative 4 times negative 4. If we have power 3, it means negative 4 is repeated 3 times in multiplication. If the number inside the bracket is negative and the power is even, so the answer will be positive. Because you say negative times negative will be positive. And 4 to the power 2, it means 4 times 4 equals 6. Again, question number 9. We have negative 5 to the power 2. The number inside the bracket is negative, and the power is even, 
So the answer would be positive. Now we have 5 to the power 2 equals 25, because 5 times 5 equals 25. What if we have here a positive number inside the bracket? If the number inside the bracket is positive, it doesn't matter if the power is even or odd. In all cases, the answer would be positive. Only we change if we have here a number inside the bracket is a negative. If the number inside the bracket is negative, then if the power is even, the answer would be positive. If the power is odd, the answer would be negative. Like negative 3 to the power 3. The number here is negative, and the power is odd, so the answer would be equal negative number. 3 to the power 3. It means 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 equals 9, times 3 equals 27. And that's how we can multiply any two integer numbers. In this part of the lesson, we'll know how we can evaluate each expression. Given that a equals negative 6, b equals negative 4, and c equals 3, d equals 9, how we can evaluate the expression? So for question number 20, we need to find b to the power 2. Now we have b is equal to negative 4. So at the first, if you need to replace any number, especially if this number is negative, just write it inside the bracket. So we have here negative 4 to the power 2. Negative 4 to the power 2, the number inside the bracket is negative, and the power is even, so the answer will be positive. 4 to the power 2 equals 260. Or we can say it with another way, negative 4 times negative 4, the two numbers now with the same sign, so the answer will be positive. 4 times 4 equals 260. In question number 29, we have a times b times c. a now will be equals negative 6 times b, which equals to negative 4, and c is equal to 3. How we can multiply them? At the first, we have negative times negative is positive. Times positive will be positive. So we have here negative is repeated two times. 2 is an even number, so the answer will be positive. Now multiply. 3 times 4 equals 220. Times 6 equals 270. Now for question number 30. Negative C, D to the power 2. At the first, we have negative outside. C, which equals to 3. Times D to the power 2, which equals 9 to the power 2. Now it would be equal. Just write negative. 3. 9 to the power 2. We have an order of operation, so just we have here 9 to the power 2 equals 81. Now we need to multiply 3 multiplied by 81. We have a negative outside, so just write negative. If we have any negative outside the bracket, just leave it without any change. Now we have 3 times 81 will be equals 243. So negative CD to the power 2 equals negative 243. And that's how we can multiply any two integer numbers and evaluate any exception.